So it's yet another rainy day in Iceland. You get a lot of rainy days here, but regardless of the rain, every day in Iceland is beautiful and every day has a new journey. Like today, at this massive glacier, it actually takes up a huge portion of the entire country. And it basically fills up on top and all around the mountains in this area. But in this section right here, it makes its way down to the ground. So this is where people come to see it. And as portions of it melt, it comes down here and there are some icebergs that are floating in the water here. This is pretty wild. These are pretty good size icebergs too. Definitely the size of a car or a, some of them even the size of like a, like a small RV. Iceberg right ahead. <laughs> well, in this area where we are now, these icebergs will pretty much just stay here. They're pretty much contained in this huge lake area. But just up the road is an area where the icebergs actually flow out to sea, out to the ocean. And Diamond Beach is a very popular place because there are bits of ice all over the beach. So that's going to be in the second part of this video, which you definitely should check out. But for now, I'm showing you where it comes from, which is the glacier. So I think you can actually make it all the way out right to the bottom of the glacier, right, right where it ends. But I think to actually go on it, you really need to take a tour because as beautiful as they look from far away, they're actually super dangerous because the caverns in there are, I don't know, could be very deep and you could definitely die in there. So, and they, uh, they require special uh, things that go on your shoes to the little spikes that grip the ice. So I'm gonna walk at least to the edge, but certainly not on it. So this is seemingly as close as we can get to the edge of the glacier. And if you have a good eye, you can see that all the way up there on top of the mountain, there are people. So I think maybe I'll try to find that trail and get up there and give you a bird's eye view of the icebergs and the glacier. So I decided to hike up the trail to give you a bird's eye view of the glacier, but I took a little detour to show you this amazing waterfall that's up here. Check that beautiful landscape out. All right, so really quick, I'm at the waterfall. I'm filming this on my phone because the camera is completely fogged up on the inside because of the moisture in the air. But look at this waterfall. What makes it so interesting is it is made from volcanic basalt stacks. This, has, this comes from uh, volcanoes, from the lava cooling. There's just, and it makes these almost square or hexagon-like stacks. Never seen anything like that. There's another viewing area up here, so I'll show you this really quick, and then we'll continue on the trail up to the very top. So look at that, amazing, right? Pretty cool. All right, getting back on that trail and heading up to see the bird's eye view of the glacier. So this is the trail 
that leads up to that overlook of the glacier. And uh, it's pretty awesome. Thankfully, the rain has slowed down a little bit, almost stopped. But uh, you never know what kind of weather you're going to get in this country. It changes every few minutes, seemingly. So I finally made it up here. That was a long hike, but really worth it. Look at this. You can really see what this glacier looks like from up here. I mean, that is amazing. And this is just the part that makes its way down to the bottom. Look at all those icebergs floating in that water down there. The actual main part of this glacier is way up there in the mountains. Uh, this is just the part that comes down. So, I mean, it's this, this glacier is huge. So this is just a very, very tiny portion of what is actually there. But what an interesting view from up here. Zoom in on some of these icebergs. This is where I was before. So now I get to hike all the way back down <laughs> and there's a little restaurant at the bottom and I'm going to have some delicious hot soup because it is cold and wet and windy. So part two is going to be at the beach, at the ocean beach, when all these icebergs make their way down into the ocean and float around. And it's called Diamond Beach because you have that black sand and they look like little diamonds or sometimes big diamonds laying all over the beach. So that's in part two, so definitely check that out. But I'm gonna make it down the mountain from here and get some hot soup from the little restaurant down there. So I will see you in part two. Thanks for watching.